our third lesson from the ninth chapter of Isaiah. Christ's birth and rule of peace and justice are foretold by Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Once they lived in a land of deep darkness, now light is shining on them. For to us a child is born, a son is given. He will rule with authority. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His power will increase. And the throne of David and his kingdom will have endless peace. Justice and righteousness will be his authority from this time onward and forevermore. Thanks be to God.
fifth lesson from the first chapter of Luke's Gospel, the angel Gabriel announces to Mary that she will be the mother of Jesus. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth. The angel appeared to Mary, a virgin who was engaged to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. <coughs> Greetings, most favored one, said the angel. The Lord is with you. But she was deeply troubled by what the angel said and wondered what this greeting might mean. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for God has been gracious to you. You shall conceive and bear a son, and you shall give him the name Jesus. He will be great. He will bear the title Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will be king over Israel forever. His reign shall have no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be? I am still a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And for that reason, the holy child to be born will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. As you have spoken, so be it. Then the angel left her. Thanks be to God. Do not be afraid to take Mary home with you as your wife, 
For the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this happened in order to fulfill what the Lord declared through the prophet. A virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and he shall be called Emmanuel, a name which means God with us. Thanks be to God.
Jesus was born at Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of Herod. Wise men came from the east to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who is born to be king of the Jews? We have seen the rising of his star, and we have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly perturbed, and so was all of Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the chief priests and lawyers of the people and put this question before them, Where is the Messiah to be born? They answered, In Bethlehem of Judea, and by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a leader to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the wise men to meet him in private and learn from them the exact time when the star appeared. Go and search carefully for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and worship him. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising. It stopped over the place where the child lay. At the sight of the star, they were overjoyed. Entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned home Another way. Thanks be to God.
great mystery of the Incarnation. When all things began, the Word was there already. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Nothing was created without the Word. The Word gave life, the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and to this day the darkness has not extinguished it. For the light to be known, God sent a messenger, a man named John. John was not the light. He came to witness to the light. The true light that comes to the world to shine on all people. The Word was in the world. Though the world owed its very existence to the Word, the world did not recognize the Word. However, those who heard and believed received power to become children of God. Not children born in a human sense of man and woman, flesh and blood, but rather born as true children of God. So the Word became flesh and lived among us through the glory of God, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 